Hey, my name is Evan. I'm the author behind the health and fitness blog, Trusty Spotter, and I'm here to talk to you about how to choose a stationary bike for home workouts when you have arthritic or bad knees. Really quick right off the bat, I want to tell you that I don't own any of the machines we're about to talk about, but I am a professionally trained researcher and reporter with a decade of experience. So everything that you're about to do, go to Amazon, browse a hundred different products, read the reviews, and try to make sense of it all. I've already done it, and I've kind of distilled it down into this video and an article on my site to help you make the decision. So you're here because you're looking for a stationary bike that's good for people with arthritic knees. First we'll talk briefly about some of the reasons stationary bikes are actually great for bad knees, what to look for when you're shopping, and finally I'll give you my top three recommendations. Sound good? Alright, so I'm scrolling through the companion article on my site right now. You can follow along with the link in the description if you want. All of my stationary bike recommendations are linked down there as well. So why do you need a stationary bike for arthritic knees? They actually provide a fantastic rehabilitative workout for your knees and the surrounding muscles and ligaments. They're low impact to protect your joints and the increased flow of blood and other fluids through the knee when cycling is great for flushing away waste products and improving the overall health of the area. That said, I'd urge you to definitely consult your doctor before you jump into any workout regimen that might impact your known health issues. A couple of things you'll want to keep in mind as you shop. The biggest thing here is that you'll that you'll see reflected in my recommendations is choosing a recumbent bike, meaning a bike you sit back on versus an upright bike. They're far easier on your joints and provide better support for your lower back. You'll also want to pick a stationary bike with plenty of options when it comes to low or light resistance so you don't find yourself challenging your knees too much before they're ready. Let's dive into my actual top picks. The Exerputic 400XL is a great, simple recumbent bike that's fantastic for rehab work and strengthening your joints and ligaments around the knee. I like it because it's small, it folds away for easy storage, and it's not complicated or intimidating for beginners or anyone looking for a lower intensity workout. The downside is that if you do find yourself looking for a more complex and challenging workout, the Exerputic may be too limited for you. Next up is the Marcy Recumbent Exercise Bike. If you're looking for something a bit of a step up, but still with a friendly price tag, the Marcy Recumbent Exercise Bike is a great fit. Budget friendly, extremely well reviewed, super comfortable. This is a good one that's great for rehab, but also gives you some more options for challenging workouts. It's still best suited for beginners and intermediates. and may not be challenging enough for advanced riders though. Some users in reviews also complained of a bit of a humming noise while riding. Still, this is a great pick. All right, my top overall pick has to be the Schwinn 270 recumbent bike. It's got pretty much everything I loved about the last two bikes, but with lots of extra features to put it a notch above. It's really high quality and gives a fantastically smooth ride, perfect for rehabbing bad knees. And I love some of the extras like the built-in face fan, the speakers, and the large number of difficulty settings and adjustments. The downside here is the price, with the Schwinn being the most expensive bike on my list. So those are my recommendations. I really hope they help. At the very least, I hope you can use my list as a starting point to guide you during your own research. If you want to read a little more detail, check out the full article linked in the description below, or click through the Amazon links below to take a closer look at the bikes themselves. See ya.